Hi, hello YouTube people. My name is Dixie Rose, and you it's March the 13th, the year is 2024. We're here at the internationally known, world famous Teddy's Juke Joint. Teddy is over there being our sound engineer. At Scott Acord there, Patio Daddy O, and Jim Tatum right there playing the guitar. I'm Dixie Rose. Also known as Dixie it's Taylor. Plugged in. I'm not. He's not plugged in. So pulling. I try it now. Plug it in. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm good. Okay. Try. <laughs> so it's open chords. That's a flat. I'm starting. Oh, you've got a capo. I'm capo uh, up. Okay, capo it's a C sharp. It's an E. We're playing this in uh, I'm starting on the C yeah, sharp. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. That's all well and good. What are the chord shapes your hands are playing? Get on fret four. Okay. Start with an A minor. Okay. We do a G. A minor G. And then this is, uh, let's see, what would that be? Just a, that's going to be a major seventh. C, it's a C? It's a C shape. Raise, raise, raise your index, raise your ring finger up one string, and go down with the pinky below it. So that's a, that's, oh. a, that's a major sub. So it's That would be an F major sub. Okay. So it'd be F, G, I guess that's an A major sub. Okay.
bass drum in there every now and then. Every now and then. Every now and then. Well, mm -hmm. I'm feeling, if, uh, if I'm feeling it needs it. <laughs> okay, I'm turning up my guitar a wee bit. I think I'm a little low. <coughs> All right. What y'all think? Yeah, it's not, not that little scared at all.
watching, turn me off. <laughs> Is the guitar up loud no. enough? The guitar's up loud enough. Uh, okay. Working Man Blues? I wrote a song called Working Man Blues, okay. but I don't Whatever think that's it. it. Go ahead, come on. You pick. G. Okay. It, it's 12 bar blues?
Zippity do die, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. I'm just trying to throw you curveballs, man. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm going to throw you a curveball. Good, I need it. What's going on? I need it. I like it. Jumping in that uh, new UAG, so we went to, into the oh, E minor and, a, and, a, and the G. <clears throat> that one works. It all works. Oh, you're, to oh, you're telling us what you're fixing to do? No, no, we're part. talking about that last that, one. That's what I thought you were. Man, I love this. Thanks. Oh God, best $300 I ever spent. I oh know. Right, Where'd you get it? Over at the pawn shop or something? It was, uh, uh, there's a used music store in Nashville. It's yeah. like the, it's the biggest thing. It used to be an A&P. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they have nothing but vintage gear. In oh. And uh, so you walk in and there's a, there's a thousand used bases. And I saw this one and I liked it. It's sold for 300 bucks. It's a $1,800 American standard. Oh, it's a I have a Fender Jazz Live Bass that I picked up at the Bone Shop for about 300 bucks. A uh, guitar is worth $300. I don't care what it is. Uh -huh. I had a 76 Jazz Bass. I paid $300 for it. Uh, broke the neck off. Sold for $300. Oh. And I traded it, uh, took that $300 and went to a buddy of mine and he said, he opened his closet up and he said, pick one. Oh, yeah. $300, I, I got it all. Yeah. Looking at me like it's my turn. Yeah. Is it your turn? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, that your, uh, is that in your report tour? Uh, Oh yeah, it is, I'm but sure. uh, it's not on my glass for tour. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's okay. What is it? Go ahead, man. Take it out. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Hi, Jimmy. One of the chords. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. It's G. You put the microphone in front of you. Oh yeah, you told me about that. Yeah. I I did. You and did. I told my daddy about it too, and he's gonna see this tomorrow. Oh. Right, Dixie. Well, yeah, if I can stay up long enough when I get home tonight, yeah. Long as I remember. I really appreciate it. As long as I remember. You really appreciate it. Oh, man, I, I watch it. That's how bad I sound. I need to do better. I need to do better That's why I moved over here, because I thought in the first two videos of the Yeah, sure. And then I get a little piece of it. My mom will see me and she'll say, you don't need to be doing that. Uh -huh. We'll stop the rain. Okay, so no, we'll sing the first you verse by yourself. Oh, no, it's not in my, it's not in there. Uh, start it off, sing the first verse by yourself. We'll come in at the Okay, second. now give me the chords, though, Jim. Okay, we're going to. It's in key of G. Okay. Okay, so we're going to sing. Start with G. Then go to C. the whole thing give me all the chord progressions okay. instead of like the first three chords and then start singing okay well i was I really wasn't starting the song but but you did it kind of sounded like it yeah okay okay yeah nothing go ahead <laughs> long as i remember G. G.
to the G. You hear the beater? Is the beater right? Is the beat right? What he's doing? Yeah. That's the beater you were singing at. That was what you were, yeah. That's the tempo you were singing at. Strung up and down. Eight time? Well, 
you went to something on the bridge. You, you said a time, and you know uh, when you did the bridge. But we didn't know the bridge. Better to skip the bridge. We don't know it. If I closed my eyes and stopped trying to watch that, I could have made it through that. Ah, well, I was gonna be lost. That's why we need to get our our video board up here. No, we'll teach you how to lead the song. That's what we'll do. Okay, teach you. You're, you're learning. Good time. When we don't when we don't know the bridge, skip it. Okay, then you know how it <laughs> I know. Where's that come from, that bridge? Huh? <laughs> what kind of bridge is that? Where's the bridge? Suspension bridge? Where, where's that come from, that bridge? That's the Led Zeppelin. Oh, okay. All and right. I threw a B minor in there on you, too. Yeah. That's okay. I have to play something else. That's all right. If we could put this on your device, uh -huh. how hard would that be? Can you take a photograph yes. and make it appear on that? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. However, I do have to do of why there is internet. Okay, so. I think I'm good. Okay. All right. Doing an original. Four chords. A minor. To an E minor. To an F. To an E major. Okay. And I'm going to start on a little slow, but then it's going to pick up the
when I'm used to playing it alone and I've got an arrangement for when I'm playing it alone and I'm throwing the song at y'all and you've never heard it and it's got this where it drops out it stays the same beat but it drops out and then I you know. I didn't mess it up too bad yeah. no it was my fault it, I was not clear enough you know to everybody has a cohesive pull. I thought it sounded great. Thank you. Yeah. It's not too hard. Alright. Alright, Scott Acord, man, your turn. That's a cool little What's happening? Hey. It took care of you, huh? Huh? It took care of you. You ain't Larry Garner's little brother, are you? No. no. <laughs> Lord, you kind of look like a young Larry Garner. No, no not even. <laughs> Maybe a, a, a old Larry Garner. <laughs> Larry Garner ain't near that tall. It was the old last time I saw him, man. That was years ago. I was with Larry Garner when he went to Memphis, Tennessee, and he won the National Amateur Blues Talent Competition. The international ones? Mm -hmm. I've been the there one. three times. Okay. I made it to the, uh, I've been went three times, and uh, twice we made it to the top three. Mm -hmm. Well, that was way but back in way the day. But we never won. And I was, uh, I was taking his bass player. So what I did is I was timing the songs because he did a lot of uh, improvisation in the middle of the song. He does that. Yeah. And so I was timing it to give him the signal to wrap it up so that he had stopped right before the little bell went off. So he didn't get disqualified. Okay? I was disqualified one time because of Mellow Mel Owens. Okay. And so then... Um, the only guy I've ever been in a band with that died in the band. You know, yeah. We had a really nice funeral. We did a jazz funeral for him in Nashville at the whole nine yards. So when they so were we, playing yeah. and, and doing their competition, I was floating through the audience saying hello to the other musicians. So I made uh, contacts with all the people who were up in Canada. And so when Larry won, then he had all those contacts in Canada, courtesy of Dixie. He, and that Larry was his is first all tour. Over the world. Now, yeah. But I've known and him I from the get-go. Uh, I mean, I listened to him Saturday morning. He has a, he has a show on, on yeah. PRA. Uh, yeah. I called the other day, but they wouldn't accept my money. Well, I was going to try to get him some damn money. Y'all told my uh, Wait a minute. What do you mean Larry you don't Garner? have a credit card? Okay, listen, this is going to be good. <laughs> Larry Garner, compared to Henry Green, ain't of nobody. I know Henry very well, too. Okay, Henry I played for Henry seven presidents. <laughs> Larry ain't never played for a man. Yeah. The only contest he ever won when he went to Memphis, Tennessee. National Amateur Blues Talent right. Competition. And that was real. Uh, I no, I it was not. She, no, I, I know it was not. I was there. Well, yeah, don't make no difference, baby. I was there too. You probably didn't even know me. Yeah. It took him 44 years to recognize this place. Well, I know, but that's it's kind of slow. Uh, they kind of slow up there. Well, no, it just goes to show you. Mm -hmm. I had some people in here today from France. Oh, yeah? And they showed me a book mm -hmm. that I was in. 12 Bar Blues, baby. I forgot yeah, what yeah. country it was from. Mm -hmm. And what it, did, Halen. it had the article in it, but the New York, New York Times, mm -hmm. the last five juke joints mm -hmm. that exist mm -hmm. on the Chilling Tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these people came by here today. This is lucky I was sitting out front. And so they, they come in and they took pictures and everything. And it was that, just... It makes you feel good, don't it, Ted? Don't it? Oh, well, to, yeah. To a I tell everybody I'm playing the Tavis. Yeah. 
teddies. teddies. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I always send it to uh, Shannon Willow. Yeah. He sends me back. You go to teddies. I said yes, I am. I said Shannon. Shannon is telling you all the time. I uh, know. He was learning. He was up learning. Y as a vowel. 
Yeah. It doesn't come around it. And he says system. And system and dynamic. It, it's, yeah, it, yeah. It's, uh, well, and there's it, another one in there. Too. And I knew a girl who was from, raised in Iowa. They had a lot of Polish people there. And so G was A-E-I-O-U. Oh, shit. And sometimes G and Y. Yeah, I thought it was. I guess because G looks like a Y. No, it's because it's Polish. Yeah, okay. I didn't watch until I sit on that bar stool, but I didn't watch it. Alright. Yeah, you gotta go watch it. Is it when I did that, Dad? It is your turn again, Jim. Sometimes you can't regain your balance. Right, right. Jerry Jeff Walker covered it. What song? The London Homesick Blues. Oh no. That's a, I want to go home with the armadillos. Okay. Mm. Do you know that one? I want to go I home think I, I can get it. Yeah, I you think gotta I can get that. You got to drink Lone Star beer when you sing this song. Uh, is yeah. there a Lone Star back there? Yeah. No, I don't have one. Mama, do you see him? Come on, Dixie.
Vision test. <laughs> Let me see how big I get. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let, let's see you scroll. <laughs> you got three hands. Don't worry about it. You know, doing it, whatever you, you got to do, do yours. Yeah. I, I got my hand. I got my. I got my work cut out of here. <laughs> light and shadow. So it starts off with E minor and it's it's slow.
Scott, your turn. The most favorite word, most favorite phrase in Teddy. Zip, did he do that? No, that'll work. Check, check, check. Yeah. Well, you better move him. You gave him your seat, you gave him your microphone.
starts with the long one and it ends with the long one. And, uh, and that song, uh, the solo is a long one. It's 12 bars in between. We should. And it's all long ones huh. until they're ready to change. <laughs> <laughs> it stays the same till it changes. It'll stay. Yeah. You can do that for 15 freaking minutes. It yeah. doesn't matter. Have a guitar, my guitar player is Nashville. Oh, he was a he was a big uh, Eric Clapton for a guy. So we do lay down salad and we would swing the shit out of him and he would just go on and on and just on and on. So when you're saying stay on the one, you're saying just stay in that G chord? Just yeah. Comp. It's called a comp. Just and, comp the one. And then Want you to like do a ride because that's the only thing interesting in holding the same chord. I'm sorry, say it again. They want you to do a ride. A ride. Yeah. Because okay. you're providing the color and the interest for the song. And we're stuck on the one. Okay. But you wanted me on the one. <laughs> no. You were doing fine. Yeah, the rhythm texture stays on it. Can, uh, uh, a guitar player can do modally, he can do a modal thing, but uh, in the blues it really doesn't sound like the, the modal deal. But it works. Um, is it your handwriting? Yes. Why? Oh, well, I wish I could write like that. <laughs> I can actually read your writing. I can't even read mine. Well, I work with some people and I can't read theirs either, and they can't read theirs either. And what good does that do? Okay, around right. here. Okay. For free. Yeah. yeah. Right here, 
there's going to be a second A minor so that each each line has four chords in it. So if I miss one here, you just duplicate it, okay? So we're going to go A minor. This will be a first for me. E7. I'm a virgin. To I'm sorry, an A minor. Sorry, A minor. A minor, yeah. I'm doing a different version of it. Okay. Then D minor to a G7 to a C7 to an E7. Sorry about that. And then it's just A minor back to the E minor. To the A minor twice.
John? Uh, uh, I have a the Nashville method. I can uh -huh. show you a few little things that would make this rock. Okay. Well, Let's you know. do it. Show me. It's going from the one to the five. A, B, C, D, E. One to the five to the one. Well, minor. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. I and got then you know, then I'm like, I got to do that. It's just, uh, the, num the number system. Uh, every note is four beats for one measure. And in the middle there with the G7, C7 thing, that's a split bar. And there's a way you, you, you draw the G and you want to align the you know, split well, between yeah. them. So it's one, two, yeah. one, two. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, you know, I just did this for me. I, uh, I got it. I got it. That's the first time I've ever played that song. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I tried to pull it up right here just to see what's you one, can, and it came up. Louis Armstrong played uh -huh. this song. Lots of people. Oh, it's it a very old back. song. Yeah, it actually came from England, I think, way back a long time ago, and then it was in New York City. Oh, this isn't, I mean, this this isn't is, about St. James down by, by no, Basher. No, but I thought it. I thought it was about New Orleans. So yeah, when I googled it, yeah. and yeah, then I, I find out what. You ever watched, uh, seen that uh, that doctor show House? Yeah. With the English guy that's a doctor, he's an asshole, drug yeah. guy. But he now, cures people. Well, he, I have his record. He went to New Orleans and got uh, all the greatest New Orleans people that there are and, and did a record. Mm -hmm. And St. James Infirmary is on there. Really? It's, uh, I mean, that's it's, your connection. It's way out there. I mean, it's a... Uh, uh, all the best horn sections and everything because uh what's his name in the book in, 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 in Hugh Laurie. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean he's got enough money. He bought he got he bought a nineteen sixty six convertible Mustang and went and cruised around all around South Louisiana mm -hmm. and did a video well, I and did him driving his yeah. 66 Mustang okay. convertible all around and looking at the swamp and then at the end of it he's with the, the Shemika Copeland and uh, and Dr. John and, and all of them there the and they did a record with him. Well, there's, a, there's a video. You might want to hear the album that I did uh, down in New Orleans. I did an album that's my original songs, but it's all done with New Orleans musicians. Really a fine, fine thing. I saw thing. the picture online. Busted Flat in Baton Rouge? Uh, I didn't. Yeah. So anyway, it's not on, I don't think it's in online. I never put it up. Okay? And I was going to place it in sync. And I had a buyer for it, and they said, I want it. That album, I want it. And I said, uh, there's only one problem. I don't own the song. No, I own the song, but I didn't have written work for hires from the musicians who played on it. And because they were mostly drug addicts and they had gone Sound back. of New Orleans yeah, recording yeah. Uh, studio. They stole a song from me and they gave it to another guy who was, his name was uh, Rockin' Dootsy Jr. Yeah. Junior. Junior. Uh, and uh, I recorded a song there, and the guy who gave it to Rocket Dootsie Jr. And, and who Rocket was your engineer? Put it on his record. Who was your engineer? Who was your he engineer? He was an old white guy. Oh, okay. Because mine was a young white guy, and he plays with Rocket Dopsy Jr. Uh, I was with uh, Watertown Red. Okay. I mean, uh, no, 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 Harmonica Red. Yeah, that's Remember George, George Heard. Heard. I went to high school with him. No kidding. I graduated with him. He was the first guy I played with in yeah. Nashville when I went there. Yeah. When I, I, were, I had a, I had I a was, band in, in Baton Rouge here forever, mm -hmm. and, and I quit the band because the music sucked. And George Hurt and Johnny Rossetti and all mm -hmm. that were playing really cool music I wanted to be part of. Mm -hmm. They said, ah, oh, you're too young, you bastard, you go mm -hmm. away. You know, well, do you now know, they come looking for me for gigs. Now, do you? Do you <laughs> George, 
John Bell, John Bell, uh, mm -hmm. his mother taught uh, elementary school at uh, LaSalle Elementary with my mother. Oh, okay. John Bell, the Rosetta. No, I know him as Rosetta. Yeah, I know him. I played with him and uh, uh, J. Nell Halton. Yeah, what is Charlie Rosetta's real name? John Bell. Okay, okay. No, he's, uh, you can run into him over at, I don't know if he's he, still he's, at Phil Brady's. He Phil runs, runs a, a, a Phil Brady's yeah. gym on Thursday nights. I saw him a few months back. But He's I a good don't guy. Have, I don't have enough energy to drive into Baton Rouge yeah. to go to Phil Brady's. Because I started Phil Brady's in the late 70s. Yeah. It's a man that takes for that. So anyway, um, do you know Ricky Sebastian? You know a drummer named Ricky Sebastian? Well, we were all friends together. I dated Ricky Sebastian. George Hurt was Greg the Prince, and George had a brother, Fred Hurt, who's now a chiropractor in town. And we're fixing to have the... Can you the... my back out? Yes, I'm sure he can. He's quite good at it. Um, but there, we're fixing to have the 50th uh, high school reunion for Tara High in 1974. I graduated Tara in 1981. Oh, you're young! Shit, dude, I thought you were at least my age.
that mural is at the corner of Government Street and South Acadian? Yes. The mural Troy is Turner's on there. I knew he when he was in diapers. <laughs> Shit. So am I. <laughs> I'm also on that wall. Are you real? Yes, yeah, standing beside Kenny Neal. Uh, I saw uh, the other day. I don't know. Yeah, on. that's a, there's a little... I'm going to go to Jay's Barbecue and mm -hmm. get a barbecue right. sandwich and drive and, right down the street. And a Let's pink see. hat and a skirt. And it says Dixie Rose up underneath it. That's me. No kidding. No kidding. How long is that mural? You're more famous than I am. Uh, that mural's, I don't know, probably 10, 12 years. I mean, I'd have to look at the original there's, uh, pictures to there's get There's Little Ray. Little Ray is in there. Yeah. And yeah. Which, uh, which corner is that? Uh, the drugstore. Drug <laughs> across from the drugstore. Okay. On that same side with the, with, uh, um, it's Family Dollar now. It's not a drugstore. Okay. It's too much. Family Dollar and then it's Cash America Pond. And those are on the north side of that intersection. Right, right. That's, um, Acadian Thruway and Government Street. And on the south side of it, there's a CVS that they've closed down. And That's old Piccadilly was in there. No, it's down uh, No, no, not that far. Uh, no, Piccadilly was... In that shopping center. Uh, yeah, kind of was. Now it's a school. The and they moved Piccadilly off to Florida yeah. Boulevard. Yeah, what, that, that's right. It was Westmoreland. That's Westmoreland Shopping Center. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Westmoreland. I hadn't heard that term in a while. I know. Yeah. And they totally it's like Bon Marche. That used to be Baton Rouge. And Bon Marche yeah. is actually a technology park now with very, very cool offices that you can rent, you know, for about, I think it's like $600 a month. It, it's a very nice facility. Yeah, they fixed it up, yeah. Somebody plowed some money into that place. They did. Another one, or is it quitting time? Yeah, it's quitting time. All right. Fine. Hmm? Fine. Fine. Fine avec soi. Fine avec soi. C'est le trop, n'est-ce pas? Fine avec soi. You want me to cut it off? Yeah. Push the button. All right. Wow. I see much better with my glasses off. <laughs>